Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here, Real Beautiful Beauty. Gonna be doing some product reviews. I'm already a little, I am so rushed. I, I'm, I'm already tongue tied. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. So, um, wanna share some products here with you guys. These are from the All Natural Face. This is actually, um, this is not their makeup, but now I've recently just bought these products, uh, bought some makeup, bought a bunch of stuff, but I like to break my reviews down uh, per video. Keeps things short, it keeps it quick, sweet, to the point, with a little extra talk, you know what I mean? I don't wanna make uh, a video that's one hour long reviewing all the products, so I would rather make individual videos. So this video I'm actually do the skincare products, gonna do a review on these three skincare products. Like I said, I've recently just purchased um, a pretty large order from the All Natural Face. I bought makeup and I bought these skincare items as well. So I wanted to start with these. I've been using these for about two weeks now. First off, let's start with this one. This one's the All Natural Face. This is the Luscious Lavender Facial Cleanser Cream and Makeup Remover. This comes in two ounce, uh, jar, a two ounce jar. I believe you can buy, uh, if I remember right, I think you can buy different sizes. So I don't think it's only just the two ounce you can buy. But anyhow, there's options. You know, you just do the pull down menu and look and see the ounces and what the options are to buy. But anyhow, I bought the two ounce jar. I figured this will last me a hot minute. It'll last me a good while. I really like it. It's a very a soothing a cream cleanser. It's very low key. It's not overpoweringly strong smelling. It doesn't irritate my skin. It does not burn my skin. I have dry sensitive skin. So what I was looking for was something something to just remove eye makeup, remove um, eye makeup, remove my cream blush, remove my under eye concealer, remove my lipstick, my lip liner, all that good fun stuff. The makeup that, that has a little hard, um, you know, more resistance, you know what I mean? Mascara, eyeliner, I mean basically all makeup if you think about it, really does not come off all that easy. So. Anyhow, I like to use that to just get my makeup off. And then after I use this to get my makeup off and removed, then I go in and use my regular cleansers and soap up and scrub up and clean my face as normal. You know what I'm talking about? But um, let's see. Let me show you the directions. And actually, it doesn't show the directions, okay? Or does it? show you the ingredients anyhow that's ingredients really great on the ingredient list but basically you use this like you do um a pond's cl uh, cleanser pond's makeup remover you know just a cream cleanser um it's funny because i keep thinking i'm skipping the right word but you know i'm talking about a cold cream that's what i'm trying to think of i keep saying cream cleanser which yes that is what this is but I keep thinking in my mind, cold cream. Okay, guys, anyhow, if you're familiar with makeup removers that work like the um, effect of a cold cream, this is basically an alternative to, say, Pond's cold cream or another cold cream. But I have dry sensitive skin, been liking it very much. It's been working well for my dry sensitive skin, especially around my eyes and my eye area. No irritation whatsoever. I really do love it, and I really like the really low key i'm gonna show you what it looks like real quick i like the low key lavender smell okay yeah basically what it looks like is just a cream cleanser of cold creamish type of product that's how i use it definitely like a cold cream you know and then after i i put the cotton round you know on my eyes and i smear it around or whatever sometimes i just use my fingers it just depends but i use it to remove all my makeup and then i go in and scrub dub dub up my face so i like that that's a good purchase i think i have i've used it before i'm pretty sure i've used it before not 100 percent certain because you know i don't know i'm a repeat buyer from the all natural face uh, years ago, when I first started using the All Natural Face products, I initially heard about them on Etsy and would buy and purchase from them through Etsy. Uh, and then I figured out down the line a few years later that they have their own website. So now I buy my products from the All Natural Face. And actually, is that on here? 
Okay, I thought just the internet address was on here. But anyhow, it's basically like the allnaturalface.com, basically. Anyhow, I will link it up in the down bar below. But I used to buy their products from Etsy, uh, but then their service become very slow through Etsy. Very slow processing orders. It would take forever for shipping. Sometimes you would think you're not even gonna get your order through Etsy. So I stopped purchasing All Natural Face products through Etsy and jump right to their website. Much quicker service, faster service. Usually less than two weeks, I received my order. So I'm, I'm very pleased with that. Now these two right here are products that I've actually used before, bought before, purchased before. They're repurchases. That's how I knew I would like them. Now I'm gonna rank order these. This is definitely my favorite, but I'm gonna show you my less favorite first. This is what they're, they're called. The All Natural Face. Face Food, can you guys see? Their Face Food Facial Wash, okay? This one is aloe and cucumber. And this is one ounce. Once again, on the pull down menu, you can choose whatever size you wanna buy. I just choose the one ounce size. They last a long time. Basically what you do with these is you uh, wet your face down, moisten your face up, wet your face down, and you use the little plastic scoop, and I didn't bring the plastic scoops to the table here, but anyhow, you guys know what I'm talking about. Little plastic scoop, or you can use a clean plastic spoon, something like that. I never use metal. I never recommend to use metal utensils or metal spoons or anything like that, because sometimes the metal will interact with the ingredients in these, and cancel out the effectiveness. If you know what I'm talking about, the same sense with hair coloring. If you're doing hair color with henna, if you are doing a henna powder hair color, never use metal utensils or anything like that. So no metal spoons. Use a clean plastic spoon or the little white plastic scoops or I have the black plastic scoops either way. You know what I'm talking about? Wish I had them handy. They're upstairs. Sorry it would take me forever to get up there and get them, but you know what I'm talking about. Let me show you what this looks like. It's the form of a powder. Okay. It comes like this in the form of a powder. And like I said, you just wet your face down, moisten it up, get your face nice and drippy. Then you scoop some out, spread it around with your hands all over your face, just scrub up your face. Now I find honestly with this one, I do like it. it has a little bit of a strong smell to it, but I do find it is a little bit more difficult to rinse off and rinse clean from your face rather than some of the other formulations. I just have a lot of trouble rinsing it off. Sometimes you, you might need to get a baby wipe or you might need to get a uh, makeup remover wipe and remove the residual, you know what I mean? Because it'll be left behind sometimes uh, where your nose is and down where the jawline is and sometimes like between the eyebrows and things like that. So you might need to use a, a wet wipey or a makeup remover wipe and just to remove the residual residue and it has this powder consistency. It, t it does take a little bit of time getting used to, but like I said, I've used these before, I bought these before, I'm totally used to using these, and I really like their other formula too as well, the um, strawberries, strawberries and cream, I love, I love, love, love the strawberries and cream. This time around, I just didn't feel it, I just didn't feel it out, and I didn't rebuy it, but I probably should have. Anyhow, I like it, but not as well as this one, and let me see if I can show you well, actually the ingredients are not on here, technically. Nope, they're not on the bottom. But definitely go to their website, check it out. Has a little bit of a strong smell, a little bit of trouble rinsing it off, but it makes my skin feel very nice, very soft. It does it cleanse my skin. It makes my skin feel nice and clean, all that fun stuff. So now this one is my fave. This is my favorite of favorite. Once again, I've used this one before. I bought this uh, I bought this years ago. I bought it a few months ago. I repurchase it often. I really like this formula. I think I got it upside down, right? Okay, let me show you what this is called. This one is called, obviously, the brand All Natural Face. This is the Face Food. Can't see it, guys. What's it say? The Face Food Fruit Facial Wash. This is pumpkins and cream. Okay, there's actually the ingredients on there dried pumpkins, organic coconut milk, and this one, did it have the ingredients? Oh, it actually does, okay. Yeah, there's the ingredients. Didn't see it. Okay. <laughs> Gosh. Like, give me a microscope, guys. I don't know. Give me a microscope to see the little bitty print. Give me a magnifying glass so I can look like 
Inspector Cluso or something. Who knows? Whatever. Or like, what's the game? What's the game, guys? What is the game? Or the magnifying glass. Oh my gosh. Clue? Is that the game? I can't think. Anyhow, it's been a hot minute since I played it. I think it's an extremely old game. Been around forever. Isn't that what it's called? Clue? Yeah. The magnifying glass. Anyways, whatever. It doesn't matter. This is my favorite facial, facial wash they, they make. Aside from, like I said, the strawberry formula. I love this. Love, 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 love the smell of it. It works well. It makes my skin soft. It makes my skin smooth. It makes my skin feel cleansed. I have dry sensitive skin. I love it. It reacts very well for me with my skin. It rinses very well. The rinseability is great. Definitely no struggling or, or residual buildup or having to, you know, scrub or remove or you don't you don't have to use a wet wappy for this one and you don't have to use a makeup remover to get off the residual the rinseability is great i like it i love it i want some more of it you know what i mean let me show you what it looks like once again it's one of these powder type of products love it i love love this formula i love the formula i love the smell of it it totally works best for my dry sensitive skin so this is what it looks like and like I said, I've repurchased it before, so I already knew and had the impression that I liked it. You know what I mean? Because I remember. I like it. 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 I really do. Even after working out, uh, you know, going an hour or two, it just depends, hour or two, hour 30 minutes. Sometimes I get on treadmills and I will go that long, literally. But anyhow, after being on a treadmill a very long time, working up a huge sweat, getting an extremely sweaty, balmy, greasy drippy nasty face going on you know what i'm talking about after working out i don't think anybody feels nice fresh and and clean after working out nobody <laughs> certainly not me and nobody else but you know what i'm talking about after working out getting my grease on on my face and i'm talking about my natural sebum my natural grease and i have dry sensitive skin but boy when i sweat i just i let off i let off oil i let off everything very attractive no okay no <laughs> maybe not but anyhow even after working out this will give me a really nice refreshing feel to cleansing my face cleaning my face up once again do the same scenario wet my face up with water obviously rinse off the sweat turn on the faucet get my face nice wet super moist super drippy all that good fun stuff and then scoop some out with my white plastic little spatula type of deal or white plastic spoon either way scoop some out spread it all over my face with my hands i let it sit a few seconds i really do i will just let it sit uh, almost like a, a few seconds you know like a mask kind of you know smear it all over my face circular motions rinse it off i'm good to go i love this stuff it's very gentle very natural love it my skin really likes it. i like this formula the best so it's like okay i love this one i like this one I love this stuff. Okay, so um, I'm going to be doing some product reviews next, probably on the All Natural Face Makeup. I've talked about the products before, but I don't think I've actually got into the nitty gritty and down into the fun, into the dirt of it. You know what I'm talking about? I don't think I've ever really done the reviews. I don't think, you know what I mean? I know I really like the um, Urzuli makeup and some other brands and things like that, but I just don't talk about them as often as I probably should, you know what I mean? So uh, what's upcoming is what I'm trying to say, long story short, short story long. This is supposed to be a short video. Maybe it's not. It's not happening. But anyhow, I'm going to be doing a product review on the makeup next. I'm going to be doing product review probably like on their eyeshadow, their lipstick, uh, their eyeshadow primer, uh, eyeliner, and yeah, just their products, makeup, cosmetics. We're going to get into the, the good fun stuff of makeup next. Just going to talk about it. I really do love and prefer natural skincare. I love and prefer natural makeup as well. It is very difficult to find naturally realmed cosmetics and makeup. It is somewhat easier to find good quality skincare that is natural, but it's like it's so almost impossible for makeup. But they make some good makeup stuff, and I'll show you that and share with you later. Okay, guys, be sure to give me a big, huge thumbs up. Be sure to give me a big, huge like. As always, like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye now.